everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk Tuesday, where we talk about everything from RV projects, RV living, to closet organization. And today, that's exactly what we're talking about. Welcome to Red, White, and Lagoon. We are a family of five humans and six dogs living in a 1983 Eagle bus. We sold our house to hit the road in our 350 square foot home on wheels. Tag along as we show you America through our lens. So I always say, just because I live tiny, doesn't mean my fashion has to be. Before living in our bus, I had a gigantic wardrobe, I had a lot of shoes, a lot of clothes, and I actually downsized them all and fit in exactly what I needed to still look cute on the road. You really have to pare down all of your stuff and really get to the staples. Staple pieces that are very versatile and can be used all the time. And you want things that are collapsible, especially if you don't have a whole lot of closet space and you just have drawer space. For us, we were fortunate enough to be rebuilding our bus ourselves. So we were able to include the things that we truly wanted and needed. Everybody got something in the bus that they wanted. The kids got really cool bunks and a whole lot of storage space underneath. Kyle got his really awesome desk area where he can edit videos, do work, and be spaced out and comfortable. I got my makeup and my clothes area, and fortunately enough, they're all nice and organized. So today, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to pare down some stuff in order to have the wardrobe that you really, really want. So you might be thinking, how in the world am I going to fit all of my stuff into such a small space? Well, it starts with paring down, with getting rid of stuff you don't need. And this coming from me, it was quite the feat to pare down my closet into staple pieces. I was the type that when we remodeled our house, I had a master closet that was bigger than my master bathroom. I know, it's a little bougie, but that's just stuff that I like. You know, you may be into arts and crafts and have an entire room dedicated to that. So what I did was I pared down. I really went through my closet, tried on all of my things to see if, one, they still fit, two, if I loved it, and if I'd worn it in the last six months. But if you're gonna be full timing in colder areas, you need to make sure that you include a couple of those staple pieces as well. Let's take a look at a couple of the things that I have that I feel like everyone really needs to have in their closet. I have three main pairs of jeans. I have some boyfriend jeans. I have some skinny jeans. Then I have some bootcut jeans. So I have three different types of jeans that I can wear a couple times each before I have to wash them. These also go great with literally anything. You can throw on an old t-shirt, super cute hat, and you have an adorable outfit. Another piece that is a true staple, my jogger pants. These are super nice, so easy to wear, pack, fold, and they really don't even get wrinkly. I'll insert a picture here with a super cute outfit that I wore my joggers with. And by the way, this was a travel day. Because we chase 75 degrees all year long, or we try to, uh, I've got to include shorts. I do have four pairs of shorts, including the ones that I'm wearing. Got black pair, nice and stretchy, comfortable pair for that time of the month, if you know what I mean and then just another boyfriend cut pair. They're all neutral colors. They go great with t-shirts. You can just throw them on. You can even go hiking and exploring and adventuring in them. So jeans and shorts, total must. Like I said, I only have three pairs of jeans, four pairs of shorts. Compared to what I had before, that's a very small amount. And you guys can see our closet isn't huge, especially because Kyle put some of his shirts in here as well. For my t-shirts, I do have a wide range of t-shirts that I wear, only because I wear a lot of them. I love graphic tees, I love ripped t-shirts, I even have some cute little fancy ones. But I limited the amount of shorts and jeans I had so I could have more shirts. I um, like to change my shirts out kind of often and I feel like if you have the staple pieces of bottoms, 
then your shirts you can add a little bit more of because it gives you more variety in your closet of stuff to wear. I'm a layering girl. I love jackets and I get really cold really quick. So I like to have a nice chambray jacket and jean jacket. They both are super comfy, very lightweight, but they'll keep you warm in a little bit of chilly weather. And if it gets too hot, really good fashion pro tip, tie it around your waist. It defines your waist, plus you have it if you need it and get a little chilly. Now I did bring bathing suits, lingerie, all of those sort of things, the unmentionables. They're in little containers right here and on the wall right back here. They, I put my hoodies in there. I've got two hoodies. These things I got from Ikea, they hold a ton of stuff. Plus you can mount them to the wall so they're out of the way. If you don't have a bus, you can do this to a traditional closet in your master bedroom. Usually they have very large closets. What you can do is you can take these boxes and mount them to the back of your closet wall. I have always loved shoes. I even brought some shoes with me such as these ice cream shoes just for wearing around the bus because I love them so much and it gives me joy. So I'm a firm believer if something gives you joy, don't worry about what anybody else says and do it. So on to the shoes. I have staple shoes that I wear a lot. They're called Keds and they're super freaking comfy. I did get rid of a lot of my high heels while uh, we're on the road or put them in storage um, because I'm not really wearing a whole lot of high heels while camping. Occasionally, hopefully we'll have a date night and I can get dressed up, but I only need one or two pairs of high heels for that. These Keds, they're super cute, rose colored, very on trend. You can wear them to dinner, to lunch, to go out on a quick little walk, to go explore a museum. You can wear them everywhere. I love the rose color, mixing it with um, the, the grays and the browns and the blues. Don't be afraid of neutral colors. You can mix neutral colors and that's what I do all the time. One shoe that is a huge staple in my closet, I do hiking, I do running, I do almost anything in these shoes. They're my earth runners. They're amazing. They're a, they're a barefoot sandal. They're made for hiking. They're made for water. They're made for everything. And I love them because I don't get rocks or if rocks do go in there, it's easy to get out. I found that earth runners so much easier to get on, so easy to wear. Definitely one of my top shoes that you need in your closet. Of course, you don't have to go this crazy with shoes, um, but Kyle's shoes are in here as well. I got a shoe rack that I had in my own closet, spray painted it gold, and put it in the back of our closet. Fits perfectly like a dream. You don't have to have this many shoes, but you can still make room for your staple shoes. Even if you have five pairs of shoes, those Ikea bins that I was talking about right here work great for that. So I hope you guys got some useful information out of this Let's Talk Tuesday. Fashion's important to me and it might be important to you. That's why it's something that I wanted to cover. I feel like a lot of women think that, and men too, that if you live tiny, your fashion has to be tiny. And it truly doesn't. You just need to get the right staple pieces and put those in your closet. Get rid of all the other stuff. I also get a lot of my finds from thrift stores, from Target, even Walmart, yes. I have a few hats in my collection as well. It just depends on what you like and what speaks to you. So I hope you enjoyed Let's Talk Tuesday. We can't wait to see you guys again next week with another RV tip.